so in this lecture we will show or in this lecture and the next one that there is a large class of topological spaces which admit many continuous maps from x to y or yeah or many which admit many continuous functions so uh, for that we can be called that a host of space mm, is one in which we can separate points by open sets yeah so what does this mean so we call a space x to be host of if given any two points on x we can find two open subsets u and v so u contains x and v contains y and u intersection v is empty right uh, so similar to this we have the following definition uh, a topological space x is said to be normal if for any two disjoint closed subsets A and B contain an X yeah. there are open subsets u and v right so here is our x we take two let's say disjoint subsets a and b this is a this is b and these are closed right so then there should be open subsets u and an open subset v what's that a is contained in u b is contained in v and u intersection v is empty okay if this happens for any two pair of disjoint closed subsets then we say that a is normal okay so uh, let's see uh, this proposition which says that there are lots of normal spaces so every metric space is normal so let's see a proof of this so let x be a metric space and let a and b be closed subsets of x okay so recall the functions d sub a from x to r and d sub b from x to r right. in fact we had for any subset z of x we had defined this map d sub z from x to r as follows the distance of uh, x from z is defined to be the infimum over all z and z of this set distance of x from z right so if our x is this like this 
and x is here and let us say this is our z. Right. So, we want to compute the smallest distance yeah. Okay. So, we take points in z compute the distance of x from z and we take the infimum in that collection. Yeah. So, that is the distance of that is defined to be the distance of x from z. Yeah. So, we had seen that this function is continuous for any subset. Right. So, uh, let us prove this uh, easy proposition or rather lemma. If A is closed, okay, if Z is closed, So, let us prove this easy lemma first. If z is closed, then t sub z, the distance of x from z is equal to 0, if and only if x belongs to z. Okay, so, proof. Yeah. So, first assume that this distance is 0. So, this implies that uh, the infimum of z in z this is equal to 0. This implies that there is a sequence z n such that the distance of x from z n is converging to 0. Right? This implies that z n converges to x. This implies that x belongs to z closure, but as z is closed, this is equal to z. Right. So, this implies x belongs to that. Right. And obviously, if x belongs to z, then the distance of x from z is 0. Right. Because x appears in this collection, so dxx is 0. Okay. So, having proved this lemma, right. So, uh, we will use this lemma, right. So, now let us return to our proposition. So, we have we are given two uh, disjoint closed subsets A and B, two disjoint closed subsets. And we have to find open subsets, uh, disjoint open subsets, one which contains A and the other which contains B, right. Uh, so, let us say this is our A. And let us say this is our B. Right? Mm, so, for each A, uh, let epsilon A be defined to be the distance of A from B divided by 4. So, we can take any A over here. So, let us just take A over here and let us compute the distance of A from B, right. And we take this epsilon A to be one fourth of that distance, right. Okay. Uh, and define, okay. So, similarly for B in B, let epsilon B be the distance from A of B divided by 4. Okay. So, define open sets. So, we define u to be equal to the union over A in A epsilon balls around A of radius epsilon A. Right. And so, we are taking this ball of radius epsilon A yeah, and taking the union over all these A's, right. 
and similarly v to be union b in b the power of a sub sin b yeah. okay so uh, okay note that epsilon a is positive or else as b is close by the lemma we will have b is in b sorry a is in b which is a contradiction as a and b are disjoint And similarly, epsilon in B is also positive, right? So, in other words, so thus we get open sets, open sets U and V such that U contains A and V contains B, right? So, we claim that. u intersection v is empty right if not so our u is going to be something like this so union of v is going to be something like this right and u is going to be a union of something like this right if not then there exists y in u intersection b right there exists a in a and b in b such that y is in b a epsilon a intersected b b epsilon b yeah. so now note that the distance of b from a is less than or equal to the distance of this yeah which by triangle inequality is less than or equal to d a y plus d y b right now as y is over here right this quantity is less than epsilon a right so this is strictly less than epsilon a plus epsilon b right so this is strictly less than epsilon a as y is here and this is strictly less than epsilon b as y is here okay so i should make this epsilon b Uh, so we may assume that without any loss of generality that epsilon a is less than or equal to epsilon b and then this is going to be less than or equal to strictly less than less than or equal to right so this will imply that the distance of b from a is less than or equal to 2 epsilon b but now remember what was epsilon b epsilon b was equal to uh, d distance of b from a by 4 right So this implies that d a b is equal to zero, yeah, and as a is closed, this implies that b belongs to a, yeah, which is a contradiction. Right. 
So thus, u intersection b is empty. So this completes the proof of the proposition. Mm, okay, so uh, this shows that there are lots of normal spaces. In fact, any metric space is normal, right? And let's prove uh, another lemma. So we'll prove a few results which are in preparation towards proving Ulsson's lemma. So let x be a normal space, and let a be a closed subset. Right. So let w, so we have a closed subset A and we have an open subset W. Right. So then this lemma says that there is a V, so this is our W and this is our V. be an open subset such that A con is contained in W, right? Then there is an open subset V such that A is contained in V, is contained in V closure, is contained in W. Okay. So let us prove this lemma. Uh, the sets a and x minus a x minus w so w is open so x minus w is closed right so x minus w is this region is the region outside w including this boundary uh, are disjoint closed subsets. Uh, so thus, there are open subsets U and V such that U contains X minus W and V contains A. Yeah. This is using yeah, using normality. Right. So every time we have disjoint closed subsets, we can separate these using disjoint open subsets. So that's the definition of normality, right? Uh, so now so we claim that V closure uh, intersected x minus w is empty, right? So why is that? Because if not, so let's just make a picture. Right. So u is this region. So this region is u. If not, then there exists uh, T in x minus w such that T belongs to V closure, right? But this is not possible, but this is not possible as U is an open set. containing T such that U intersection V is empty. Right? What does it mean for T to be in the closure of V? It means that every open subset containing T has to meet V. That is not possible. Right? Uh, so therefore, right, so this implies that V closure is does not meet X minus W, which implies that V closure is completely condensed. Right? So thus a is contained in B is contained in V closure is contained. So this proves the lemma. Okay.
okay and the final proposition uh, let x be a metric space let a and b be disjoint closed subsets then there exists a continuous function f from x to 0 1 such that f of a is 0 and f of b is equal to 1 okay so we have our x we have two disjoint closed subsets a and b so we are claiming that there is a map to 0 1 which takes a to 0 and it takes b to 1 so let us prove this so for metric spaces this is very easy to prove so take f of x to be equal to d a x divided by d a x plus d b x right ok so now uh, let us look at the so the functions d a and d b are continuous right this implies that d a plus d b is continuous right and since a intersection b is empty uh, right d a plus d b for any x for any x in x when we look at d a x plus d b x this has to be positive because if it is 0 then it will mean that if not then we will have d a x is equal to d b x is equal to 0 uh, which will imply that x belongs to a intersection b as a and b are closed right so thus this function d a plus d b it takes positive values so this implies that this 1 upon x goes to d a x plus d b x is continuous right and since the product of continuous functions is continuous this implies that f of x is continuous right so now if x belongs to a then clearly f of x is equal to 0 right and if x belongs to b then f of x is equal to the distance of okay but this is 0 because x belongs to b so this is equal to 1 right so this completes the proof of the proposition So, in the next lecture, we will prove Urisson's uh, Urisson's lemma. So, Urisson's lemma proves the same proposition, but it removes the hypothesis that x is a metric space, and uh, it replaces metric space by being normal. Okay. Uh, so, we will end this lecture here. Mm -hmm.